What are the cheapest and most affordable countries in Southeast Asia? This and more I'm going to share with you in this video. Many times I have been asked what are the cheapest or slash uh, most affordable countries in Southeast Asia. I've been uh, living and working and also traveling in various Southeast Asian destinations. Uh, the, the Philippines is uh, one country among uh, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, China. Um, I spent more than uh, 10 years actually working in these countries. And yeah, that's a valid question. And lately, during the past two years, I was mainly uh, traveling. I took uh, many months uh, of my time and spent it. Uh, some people call it a sabbatical yeah, or a long-term travel. You can call it what you want. And I want to give some advice and share some uh, information with you. So uh, long story short, the two countries I most recommend is Vietnam and Thailand. Why is that? And why it is? Uh, why, uh, why there are other countries which I do not recommend? Uh, I will uh, uh, share with you. So now um, I always, of course, look at the uh, total package. Yeah, I'm not only looking at uh, let's say food prices or uh, accommodation prices and stuff like that. But of course, these these things play a, a crucial and important role. But definitely accommodation is uh, the main f one of the main factors yeah, which I look at. So Vietnam, for example, is a great example for great affordable uh, accommodation and also quality accommodation. Mostly when I travel to Southeast Asian countries, I first check Airbnb for affordable and quality accommodation. I'm a single guy. Yeah, I have no dependents, so I travel by myself, but still I have a certain standard. You know, I'm a Western guy. I come from Europe and most of the Western guys and girls who are watching this video, they can relate to my, uh, let's say, standards or demands. For example, what for me, what, what is very important for me is cleanliness. Yeah, I hate cockroaches. I hate, I hate mice. I hate any kinds of insects in my room. I need and I want a hot shower in the morning. Yeah, this is just uh, what, I, what I prefer. And I need strong Wi-Fi, for example. Yeah, I don't care so much about elevators and uh, if this flat or apartment has a refrigerator. Uh, of course, unless you are, uh, you're living in a high riser, then uh, you need an elevator. That's a no-brainer. And these accommodations you can really find in Vietnam the most when you check Airbnb. Uh, unlike Thailand, in my opinion, or unlike the Philippines. I think the Philippines is still kind of okay because they constructed thousands, not thousands, but uh, hundreds of new apartment buildings depending uh, which city you go to. But uh, that's for sure true in Manila. So uh, you can get great deal at quality deals. Uh, Malaysia is not so good in my opinion uh, if you want to rent long term on Airbnb because the quality of the accommodation and the quantity uh, in my opinion really sucks you know depending on your standard you can of course get cheap places but are they really clean what is the location uh, is there access to wi-fi and these kind of things so uh, this is uh, I always look at the at these kind of things first then of course uh, I look at the infrastructure of the country, the surroundings, the nature. Yeah, is there access to to Wi-Fi? Are there roads? Are there shops, shopping malls, hotels? You know, these kind of things. And uh, in that regards, uh, really, Vietnam is uh, top uh, on my list still today. I have made videos about uh, my reasons why I prefer Vietnam. You can check it out. I did one video last year where I explain in more detail why I chose and picked Vietnam last year for my long-term travel. 
So now that has changed a little bit because of uh, visa reasons. I will not go into uh, much detail here. Uh, so I changed my focus to Thailand and Thailand is also a great place if you want to uh, rent uh, long term and you have the infrastructure is there, you know, you have beaches there, beautiful nature, surroundings, people, infrastructure is definitely there in Thailand. Uh, this is at, at least what I have gotten to know. I was, I was by spending uh, time in the southern part uh, of Thailand in Phuket, but also in the northern part of Thailand in Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, for example. And the, north, the northern part of Thailand is definitely a place I can recommend for you to travel to. I've also done uh, previously some videos about my experience there. Very cheap, affordable accommodation, uh, food, uh, people, I mentioned that already. And yeah, uh, a lot of things to to see. Now, so these two countries, Vietnam and Thailand, are in terms of uh, traveling on a budget, but also getting a great overall experience. Uh, they are top, top on my list. For sure, Malaysia is a beautiful country and I myself lived uh, more than three years in Malaysia. I was working and living there as a chef before. I'm a professional chef for those of you who don't know yet. And it is definitely a beautiful country, a great infrastructure. It's a multicultural country, you know, consisting mainly of uh, people of Indian heritage, Chinese heritage, and then you have the Malay people. But the great thing in Malaysia is it has a great infrastructure. It, the people all speak English more or less, so communication is not a problem. It is a multicultural environment. But uh, Malaysia is, uh, what, when it comes to accommodation, for example, more on the pricey side. Yeah? We don't need to talk about Singapore. I will not talk about Singapore here because Singapore is just bloody expensive in, uh, in any way. Yeah? Singapore is good for a short-term travel. Uh, uh, I recommend probably three, four days, but then uh, you have seen already everything or most of it. And you can also check your uh, expense uh, account after you visited Singapore, you will notice uh, the difference. Also Hong Kong, I want to rule out as a long-term travel destination because it's just too expensive. Hotel prices are, I think, similar to Singapore. In Singapore, you spend easily. If you can get a room in Singapore for like $100 or less, then you already have a great deal, but do not expect a five-star or four-star hotel room. I remember in Singapore many, many years ago, that is already like almost 15 years ago, uh, I was living in Temple Street. And for those of you who know Temple Street, yeah, it is a very cute little road uh, where there's a lot of heritage and nice shops and stuff. But at the time I already spent roughly a hundred dollars per night for one room. But uh, you know, for those of you who know Temple Street, you guys know there are no big high-rising uh, hotels or stuff like that. They are very cute little colonial buildings just refurbished. And my room was literally like, I don't know what, maybe uh, six square meters or uh, something like that. They're very tiny and <laughs> I don't want to know what the prices are today. Hong Kong the same. Hong Kong is good for a maybe one week trip because in Hong Kong there's more to see than in Singapore. The Philippines, I think, is okay. The Philippines definitely is a beautiful country and you need time to travel. And this is uh, what I'm gonna do next. Uh, on my next trip to Asia, I will travel to the Philippines most likely first. And I'm gonna spend one or two months over there to really re-explore the country. I've been traveling there many times, but only spending some time here and there. Uh, in terms of uh, accommodation, you can find great deals. Mm, the infrastructure is not so great, as uh, some of you know, uh, but uh, you can arrange, you can adopt, you know. Uh, but definitely the nature is one, one big fat plus, plus when it comes to the Philippines. One of the most beautiful countries on the planet, I, I, I believe. Indonesia is uh, probably similar to the Philippines. Um, accommodation wise, you can get deals, but not such great deals like in Vietnam, for example. Because in Vietnam, uh, the places I travel to, for example, Nat Chang in southern uh, Vietnam, but also Da Nang, these are all, all developed places. A lot of money went into these cities and uh, 
people bought apartments, people built apartments, people refurbished apartments and they are all really uh, up to date and in a very good condition because these two cities for example they are tourism minded. Tourism is their, mo uh, their biggest source of income. So uh, by nature these people if they are smart they make sure that uh, the accommodation is there and most of the guests who are traveling there or visitors are actually besides of the Vietnamese are actually Western people you know Americans Russians used to travel a lot but also other other people right and in Indonesia you know it's Indonesia is a big country do not expect so such a high quality in terms of uh, uh, value for money like for example in Vietnam uh, but definitely uh, Viet uh, Indonesia is cheap, it's a beautiful country, uh, the people are very nice, uh, the infrastructure is uh, depending where you are in the country and uh, but I can so, uh, recommend it definitely for your traveling but in, uh, or, uh, looking at the overall package definitely uh, Vietnam uh, but also Thailand now uh, ranking on my list uh, at the very top yeah so that's that's already it uh, I will not go into too much detail here I've made other videos about uh, these countries especially about Vietnam what is the cost of living and how much money did I spend here and there and on accommodation and food and this and that please uh, go and check out these videos they are it is there's very useful uh, information uh, communicated but also recently during my long-term stay in Thailand I, I put out some videos where you can uh, learn more about uh, uh, the cost of living and what you can expect. Okay so with that being said here you have my uh, two top countries which are in my opinion if you look at the total package the cheapest and most affordable countries also for long-term travel, beautiful nature, low cost of living, great food, great people. Yeah, what do you want more? Yeah, uh, Go uh, check these countries out, let me know, share your travel experience also with me. I would be happy and grateful for it. What is your experience? Do you agree with me? Uh, maybe you don't agree with me, you know, maybe you say, you know, uh, Vietnam and Thailand, uh, I don't know, they, both countries suck for this and that reason and I prefer, I don't know, the Philippines or Singapore or even Hong Kong. Let me know, I'm always uh, interested in uh, different perspectives and opinions, of course, and I want to share, uh, I want to exchange with other uh, travelers. So with that being said, that's it for today. You guys take care and I'm going to see you in hopefully one of my next videos. Take care. Bye-bye.